Hey y'all. So I've been getting quite a few questions on Instagram about how I start my broccoli. So I figured I'll just make a video about it and answer any questions that you might have. Um, so I do start my broccoli from seed. Inside, I believe I started my broccoli on February 1st. Um, and it is now March, what's today? Third? No, it is not third. Fifth? Third? 53? 15, three. 13th, March 13th. Thank you, Dana. Um, so I believe today's March 13th and they're ready to go in the ground. We've been sitting about um, at 55 degrees in the daytime. I'm kind of squinting right now because um, the sun is in my eyes. Uh, it's been beautiful full sun days. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get the broccoli in the ground. Uh, it is a cool weather crop. So I try to plant it as early as possible to stop it from flowering when it, go, when it gets to the head stage. Um, so the sooner I can get it out, I always think the better. Uh, right behind me is the bed that we've made um, to start our garden the first year. As you can see, it is a work in progress. <laughs> um, we, have, we don't have everything done, but we are absolutely working on it little by little. Um, so we'll hopefully be able to share that transformation with you soon. Um, but right now it's just a hot mess. So this is just reality, y'all. Uh, so in this bed, we have obviously some soil from the ground, which we've tried to dig out as much as possible. We've replaced it with garden soil, compost, and manure. So today I'm going to do just what I always do, which is start my garden and um, amend my soil with some Espoma Biotone. And last year the Espoma Garden Tone was a first for me and it's turned out really well. I got some nice sized heads of broccoli, so we're going to do the same thing again this year. So what I like to do I start with the garden tone, get it all over my bed, um, and amend the soil as a whole. And then I kind of use the Biotone starter fertilizer just um, by individual plants, if that makes sense. I'll show you today. So we've already been mixing up the soil uh, between yesterday and today um, with the compost and trying to get everything cycled through. So you know what? Let's just get into it. So you can always look at the instructions on the bottom or uh, in the back of the package. Uh, for this, it says, for potted plants, new plants, um, established plants, and new plantings. It has all of the different directions that you could use. One pound equals three cups. I personally, because Espoma is an organic product, I like to read the chart, make sure that I'm not being ridiculous, but I'm not afraid to just sprinkle it in. I also never measure in the kitchen, so why would I measure in my garden? Um, you can over fertilize things. Please don't misunderstand me on that. But this I'm not too worried about. So I'll just give an example. It says for garden beds, mix three pounds of garden tone per 50 square feet. This is a, I think uh, we made it a four by five bed, I believe, um, which would make it 20 square feet. Uh, so we would need, I would say about one and a half pound, one pound. So it's a three pound bag. I'm gonna give it, give it some of that. It's just gardening y'all. Can't, can't, can't get any worse than eating something that you don't know where it comes from. If y'all remember, we just had a huge line of shrubs removed from this fence over here. So I am gonna find some pretty large material which is why we've been working the bed for a couple of days now. We wanna make sure we get as much of this out as we can. Not too bad. I don't know if you know about this kitchen garden plan that they have um, set up for you at Gardener's Supplied. Um, so you can go to gardeners.com and kind of design your own garden beds the way that you want them and then place them into a design.
apply, I've made my plan specific for this bed that my broccoli is gonna sit one plant here, one plant here, one plant here, one plant here. I like to do the square gardening method, um, the square foot gardening, whatever you may call it, that's what I do. Um, so, which kind of just means that you can, and the website will show you this, plant your garden per square foot. So think of it as a diagram that for each square, there is a certain amount of uh, plants that you could put in them. And Gardener Supply has a specific chart that will show you this. Um, if you say that you want carrots and you put carrots in the square, it will show you how many carrots will fit. I'm doing broccoli today, so I know that I could put one broccoli in each square and be okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. So today I'm starting with these seedlings that I started inside. And these two seedlings are the Sun King hybrid uh, broccoli from Burpees. Uh, I grew this broccoli last year. That's the broccoli that I was telling you I had the most success with. Big giant heads, delicious. Even Daniel was eating the broccoli. So I'm starting my garden this year with two of those. And then later, I believe in about a week, I'll be planting a new variety, uh, well, new to me, um, again from Burpees called De Cico, D-E-C-I-C-C-O. Take with that what you may. So again, you can always look on the back of your um, pack to see how much uh, biotone you want to use, but a spoma is, uh, like I was saying before, a spoma is organ an organic fertilizer. Uh, I think that my plants just do really, really well with it. Last year they were all booming, and I really believe it was due to this biotone starter fertilizer. Really helps the roots get established. So I'm just going to use this as my first square here, and this as the second square. Dig yourself a little hole, eliminate any rocks. Take a good little handful of starter fertilizer. Mix that in. And we are planting right underneath a giant oak tree. So it's always hard to get that perfect blend of um, soil that you might find with with no twigs and no acorns, and that's just not our reality here. Uh, so this oak tree is provi providing many leaves and many acorns and many twigs, uh, which we're just gonna use as natural material in our garden. So you don't wanna grab it by the stem, you wanna kind of release it from the pot. Look at that root system. Nothing is um, circling around, which means it's not root bound. So it should hopefully have a pretty easy time establishing here. We're gonna put that right down in the soil there. Right. One broccoli. This one broccoli will get pretty big. I believe it gets about 16 inches wide. So that'll take up a solid amount of space. I'm gonna assume that it comes out, like I said, about this far and I'm gonna plant my second broccoli right in the middle of my next square. left to do is to water this broccoli in. Sometimes you might have some problems with um, squirrels. <laughs> I don't know if we do yet because this is our first year here, but if we do, um, you can get a cloche or even one of those food tents um, that you could find in the dollar store on, or on Amazon and pop that over these just to make it um, harder for the squirrels to get to. So that's it. I'm going to get these watered in and um, watch them grow. Thanks for hanging out with me and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.